jackpot this time. Hi there, my name is Chris, and in this video, I'm going to show you the latest iteration of my 3D printed RC car project, Tarmo 4. If you're watching this video, I'm guessing you've already seen the Tarmo 3 video. That car was a lot of fun, but even while designing it, I knew it wasn't the end of the road for the project. Upon completion of version 3, I immediately began working on the fourth and most refined iteration of the project yet. Unlike previous versions, this car is designed completely fresh from the ground up and uses none of the same parts from previous versions. As far as improvements go, I'll list just a few of them here. First of all, the car is about 20% larger than before. It also weighs a lot more. It's much more robust and can handle more abuse than the previous versions could. This not only means that the gears last much longer, but even the axles last an extremely long time at this point. The axles on the car have now been running since November of 2019, aside from one breakage I had that you may have seen me post about on Instagram. Version 4 is now even higher off the ground than version 3 was. Grass is now no issue at all. Four-wheel drive is better than ever. The gearbox no longer needs to be completely disassembled in order to remove the front or rear diff. One of my favorite changes is the addition of my new torque damper design. This new torque damper is much simpler than before. It's simply a specially designed drive shaft made from Ninja Tech Cheetah filament. Surprisingly, this simple design works much better than the old one and stopped nearly all the breakage issues I was experiencing. As I mentioned before, there are just too many changes for me to talk about here. That is not to say that I'm 100% happy with where the car is though. There are quite a few things that I'd like to improve and plan to. For example, I hate the wheels that I'm using. These are meant for rock crawling and are just way too soft and not good at all for driving fast or drifting. I plan to design new wheels using the cheetah filament from the torque damper, but I decided to wait on that since that would further delay the release of the project. I also don't like the solution for the front differential assembly. This is an open diff on the front, so it's a bit more complicated than the rear. I'm currently using thick paper clips as pins in order to lock it all together, uh, but it's not a good solution. Uh, again, I plan to redesign this, but time is an issue, so I decided to leave it as it is in order to release the project. The next thing I don't like is the turn radius of the front wheels. It's not terrible, but it's not as good as previous versions. I'd like to improve it, but again, time was an issue. Overall, I'm super happy with where the car ended up. It's super fast and the new motor has power for days. Like I said before, there are a few things that are not fully refined at this point, but maybe the community can help with that. I've been amazed by the support and the community that are beginning to form around the project. Some people even began sending me and posting their own renditions of version 3. I really appreciate these people sharing their builds with me and it really is cool to see something I designed in the hands of somebody across the world. There's some people who did some really interesting things with the design. If you'd like to learn more there are links in the description down below. I hope just as many people enjoy version 4 as version 3 and I look forward to seeing everyone's builds. If you made it this far in the video maybe consider following me on Instagram. There you'll see what I'm currently working on. I post project updates there regularly. I'm also on Twitter and other places so you can check the description for links to those things. I should note the project is already up on Thingiverse. You can check that out now. Remember to subscribe and thank you for watching.